So I'm Kathleen Lawson. I'm the Executive Director at Economics Arkansas. Economics Arkansas is all about bringing financial literacy and economic education into the pre-K-12 classroom. We do this primarily by supporting teachers. And we support teachers by providing workshops, teacher professional development for teachers across the state. Last year we trained nearly 3,000 teachers over the course of 130 workshops in 73 counties. So we're really proud of the work that we're doing to bring economic education into the classroom. But we don't just train teachers through teacher workshops. We want to make sure that teachers are fully supported with economic education. So we offer teacher grants. We have student programs. Many people know us for the stock market game, a student investment simulation for fourth through 12th graders. But we have our hand in many projects. We're a lead partner in the Arkansas Reads One Book program. We are bringing back the National Personal Finance Challenge to Arkansas. And we're all about just whatever we can do to bring economics and financial literacy into the classroom in an inter interactive way. For us, it's about increase in impact. We want to make sure that more and more students and more and more teachers have access to economic education. It's just by nature that we're here in Little Rock, but it's a great, uh, a great place to be. Really, all roads lead, lead to Little Rock in a sense, and we're able to uh, really have a great geographic footprint by being centrally located in our state. You know, I, f I really feel like um, we're doing some great work and we want people to know where this is coming from. But for teachers, that's our core audience, and for administrators, I would want them to know that we don't charge a fee for our workshops. We are so uh, passionate about the work that we're doing that when I arrived a few years ago, one of the things that I did very quickly is I said, we're not gonna charge for workshops. Um, and we've been able to be very fortunate that we've had uh, donors and funders who believe in that and they've supported our desire to make that at no cost for teachers.